Hi, I'd like to spend some time with you this morning showing how your PowerPoint assignment, which is due as part of this unit, aligns with the course goals and how my assessment of it is also integrated with the course learning objectives. As you probably know by now, IPFW has set forth some broad learning objectives for students here who are pursuing a baccalaureate degree. Among these are a sense of community, critical thinking and problem solving skills, and communication. Now, sense of community is important, not just as uh, what you might think of as a social community, okay, but rather more specifically uh, as a community of learners. You all are a community of learners with common goals, okay? So learning theory holds that you really learn more from each other than you learn from me. And there's considerable anecdotal research that shows that the most important part of your college experience is not found sitting still in classrooms listening to lectures such as these, but rather it is uh, being among a community of people with similar goals that you find yourself with every day that propels the most part of your learning. So think about that for a moment, okay? You're a community with common goals. Uh, critical thinking and problem solving skills, it's a little harder to pin down, okay? But critical thinking generally means that you'll not stop at the first thought that comes to your mind, but whether you'll push on through, as Jim Morrison of the Doors once famously said, uh, to the other side. Push on through to the other side with your thinking. Don't stop. Push. Okay, the problem solving part uh, of this is a little easier in that it implies that you'll learn to read instructions and complete projects without somebody having to constantly look over your shoulder. This is a lifelong skill, okay? Employers, people like that, aren't going to be able to sit there with you and tell you exactly how to do everything. You're expected to pick up a lot of this on your own. Um, communication, of course, is spelled out more specifically, and IPFW clearly expects us to teach you multimedia skills as well as writing skills. So I'm trying to show you how the PowerPoint fits in here. So in that the PowerPoint is a technical, visually oriented project that is meant to display your life, your own life, to fellow students, you can see why I've chosen this project for this unit. Now, of course, you still may be asking yourself, however, well, how does a PowerPoint project, uh, how does it relate to writing class? But trust me, I'm going to make this clear in a moment. The English Department Writing Program lists four learning outcomes that they expect successful students will accomplish in W131. One of these specifically states that we're going to teach you to write in several genres. Now, a genre is any form of writing aimed at a specific audience with a specific purpose. Genres range from grocery lists to email to research papers to writing for the web. Now, PPT is a genre that emulates writing for the web. Okay, this is where a lot of writing's headed this this in these days, and you're going to see more of this in this class. All right, um, it emulates writing for the web because it presents chunks of information in a visual fashion. PPT is very visual. The web is very visual. Think about it. What do you see when you look at a web page? What you don't see is a long gray scroll of dense text. Instead, you see blocks of information, text and imagery combined that are then hyperlinked by clicking with your mouse to other, excuse me, to other blocks of visually oriented information. This is exactly what a good PowerPoint should accomplish. All right, it links you from chunks of information to other chunks of information, just like the web does. I also like PPT for this class because it teaches you to organize your writing. PPT unfolds in a certain sequence, all right, just like an essay unfolds in a certain sequence. It teaches you to pre-write, that is where you have to think through your project first. You think about it ahead of time. You have to think about a PowerPoint ahead of time. You can't just sit down on a Sunday night, whack it together, it won't work. And it causes you to think in terms of chunks of unified information, which is exactly what a good paragraph. A paragraph is a chunk of unified information. It's all connected, it's all tightly done, all right? Uh, and you've got to find out that I'm going to spend a lot of time stressing paragraph unity of this course. Good writing is about paragraph unity. It is equally important for your success in this project to understand how is it assessed, all right? You know, you, know, you want to know what your grade is and how is Mr. Weller going to, you know, give you your grade, okay? Uh, it's, but I want to explain to you how the assessment actually links to the learning goals. I don't just randomly give you a grade, okay, and then go on from there. I expect you to learn something through the actual assessment process. Uh, towards that end, in the table of contents for the Unit 1 Learning Module, please be looking at these table of contents very, very closely, you will find what's called a rubric, R-U-B-R-I-C specifically for the PowerPoint. A rubric is not just a grading tool, it is a teaching tool in that it clearly defines the components of the project and it presents a sliding scale of what is expected for success in each component of the project. Please study this rubric. 
Please, please, please study it just like you would study any of the other material that I present in the learning unit. If you've gone through the learning module uh, table of contents by now for this unit and found the criteria for the unit one unit assignment, excuse me, for the unit one assignments, you'll see that 10 to 15 slides are required. Uh, these slides should display your life, all right? Uh, 10 is a minimum number and will not earn you a perfect score in this category. Okay, 15 is what's required to get a perfect score. You want to do 20? Super. Uh, it is up to you as to what you actually want to present, all right? But please remember that this is a visually oriented project that is meant to describe you as a person to the rest of the class. So I'm expecting that you'll have some family photographs, photographs of friends, photographs of travels, photographs of your kids, pets, hobbies, job, anything you want, okay? And these should be placed carefully on PowerPoint slide, not too many per slide, okay? Don't let the slide get jumbled. I have presented for you some examples of projects that I consider A projects and that have gotten A projects in this class in the past. Uh, try to think of the components of your life that add up to uh, who you feel you really are. Uh, consider each of these components a slide. As with all writing, don't let the components get too large or too broad. All right? Break them down into more focused components. And also remember that PPT is a visual medium developed as an outline tool. It is not meant to present a lot of dense sentences, all right? dense paragraphs on a slide. And it's not meant to have a lot of clutter. It's supposed to be very visually appealing. It's supposed to be able to look at a PowerPoint slide and say, aha, I get it. Just like you're supposed to be able to read a paragraph and say, aha, I get it, okay? Um, a good written text sticks carefully to focused paragraphs that are not encumbered by sentences that have a lot of unnecessary or distracting words. So I'm causing you to do this PowerPoint exactly in the same fashion that I'd cause you to write an essay. I expect focus, no clutter, good detail, but no clutter. Stay focused, all right? As you look through the table of contents for the your, your, uh, excuse me, Unit 1 Learning Module, you'll see two places where the PowerPoint must be submitted. Uh, one is a discussion forum where you all can view each other's submissions, where you can share your work, learn a little bit about each other. And the second is the actual link where I grade uh, privately your submission. The second link is the assignment Dropbox where I grade your submission in private. You can't do these grades in public. Okay. So before you make either submission, make sure you've compressed the photographs. Compressed, very important word. Uh, that makes a file size smaller. Make sure you compress them and save the file again. Save it one last time before you attach it. And instructions for compressing photos in PowerPoint are in the learning module. If you have questions, as usual, uh, email me through Blackboard. Uh, but don't wait the last minute. By now, you know I don't work on weekends. Okay, I'm available Monday through Friday, you know, 8 to 5. Okay, I check my email at least three times a day. So please get a hold of me that way. Bye now.